Good evening from London. The Bank of England has held interest rates at 5.25% and signaled that they are unlikely to be cut anytime soon. It's the third time in a row the bank has decided to leave the rate unchanged. The decision, which was widely expected by financial markets, means borrowing costs will remain at their highest level for 15 years. Six members of the nine-person Monetary Policy Committee voted for no change, while the other three wanted an increase to 5.5%. Our job is to achieve the 2% inflation target sustainably. Now, we're making good progress. Inflation has come down from 11% to where it is today, four and a, just over 45 and a half, and it will come down further. But we have to achieve it sustainably. So there is more to do. So I'm encouraged by where we are, but we have got more to do to get to that target, and that's what we will do. Meanwhile, the European Central Bank has followed in the footsteps of the Bank of England and the U.S. Federal Reserve, keeping interest rates on hold at 4.0 percent for its final meeting of 2023. It comes after 10 consecutive hikes that began in July 2022, and as consumer prices in the eurozone only rose by 2.4 percent in the year to November, core inflation also went down as inflation has fallen faster than expected. Investors have now increased their bets for ECB rate cuts in 2024, currently pricing an almost 150 basis points of rate cuts next year. Meta's social media app Threads has launched in the European Union five months after its release in other parts of the world. It launched to much fanfare as a rival to Elon Musk's ex, formerly Twitter, but it was not made available in the EU, which has strict rules around data and big tech. Meta is hoping it will drive interest in the platform, which gained more than 100 million users in its first week before those numbers drifted down. And those are your main stories from London at Close of Business.